workouts. It's still Friday, September 4th. Uh, I'm still warming up for front squats. Uh, again, I had one of those days again, my hips a little, taking a little time to warm up, so I started doing something I thought would fit, you know, be a little less stress on my hip and knees. Um, it's basically a zercher squat, zercher holding the bar in your elbows. Uh, I found something that really works well for me is to do the zercher lifts with a thick bar. The thick bar doesn't bite into your crooked elbow quite as bad. I don't know if you've seen this camera angle, but I've got my homemade thick bar here. It's just some PVC pipe stuck over a regular bar, and I've got some uh, tie wraps and foam underneath to make it where it doesn't rattle around. But uh, basically, you can pick up the PVC pipe at your, at your hardware store. Uh, getting it sliding over there is a little tough, but not bad. But I, I converted a bent bar that I wasn't using into a nice thick bar just for the cost of a piece of PVC pipe and some tie wraps. But uh, what I'm doing here is, I guess you'd call it a zercher, either stiff leg deadlift or good morning, depending on how you do it. If you got to me, if you go let your back round, it's a stiff leg deadlift. If you if you keep your back flat, it's a zercher hold good morning. I'm taking that right into the front squat. Um, sounds a little complicated, but I'll show you this. What I got here is this little piece I made up from a strap to use to kind of hold, you know, lock my hands in. Anyway, here it goes. Good, good. Uh, stand up, back up, get bounced. All right, good morning. Up, and squat. There we go. Searcher style, good morning, deadlift, squat, whatever you want to call it, but it's, it's a nice warm up exercise with that weight. That's only 85. You can certainly take it heavier for the squat and make it a big, a big heavy exercise. Any long rally workouts, uh, still continuing with the Zercher squats. Uh, like I said, these are feeling good, so I'm going to stick with them until the weight gets a little heavier than I want to do with this style. Uh, move the weight up to 135. One thing this is good for, particularly for Olympic lifters, is you can really stay upright with this. You don't get the forward lean that you sometimes do even when you're doing a regular rack front squat. And oftentimes, if you've got an ailing wrist, your wrists are an easy gauge replace for Olympic lifters. You, know, you can do this without the stress on your wrist that you do with a racked up front squat, but still get the same work in your hips and legs. Again, I've got my little rope here that I use to kind of lock my hands in. All right, I'm just going to squat this time. I thought I'd give you a little different angle so you can see the thick bar and see a little more of my motion. Finishing up with squats. These are the Zercher squats I've been doing, or elbow squats, holding the bar and crooking my arms. I'll try to knock out another set of three. 